Okay, so this video is for task four. Um, and task four is a bit of an introduction to a few things really. Um, but the model I'm using to show this is called an array, or I'm using arrays to do this. Uh, and I don't think I've written this down anywhere, but it's spelled like this. An array it also kind of looks a bit like a rectangle. So in blue, you can see the first three multiples of three. So we've got three and then six and then nine. So we've got three, six, nine. And then over here, we've got five, 10, 15. So you've got your five, your 10, and your 15. And hopefully what you can see here is we've got different rows going on here. Maybe you've spotted this already, maybe you've not. But you're at, at your multiples of three, you're adding on three extra each time. And for your multiples of five, you're adding on an extra row of five every time. Um, and it's asking you if the patterns are continued, what would be the first number that appears in both of those? Um, and I'm actually, I'm not going to bother drawing the arrays. Um, because maybe we can see another pattern here. We're adding three every time. So we've got three, then six, then nine. So if I continue this, oops, sorry. Um, we've got three, six, nine. If I add another three, it'll be 12. And then I add another three, it'll be 15. Now, what you can notice is these are the multiples of three that I've just drawn here. And for our multiples of five, well, we can see that 15 is there as well. And if I'm looking for the lowest common multiple or the first number that appears in both, it must be 15. So this question here, the lowest common multiple of three and five is 15. Um, and I'll just I'll just write down a few extras here just to be sure. So we've got 15 here and here, and uh, then we'd have 20 and 25. So the lowest common multiple of um, three and five is equal to 15. Okay, then for three and seven, so let's write out some multiples of three. So we've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, uh, let's go for 18, 21, 24. If that's not enough, we can put add in some more later. And then we've got a multiples of seven. You might have spotted already what it's going to be. So we've got seven, 14, 21, and then we've got 21 there, we've got 21 in both of those. Um, I could keep going, but I'm going to stop there. So the lowest common multiple of 3 and 7 is equal to 21. Okay, and then the next one I've asked you to do is 6 and 15. Um, I'll let you do that yourself, I'm not going to do that one in this video. Hopefully you've had... Um, and up help from those two examples that I've shown you. The next part of this task um, is about square numbers. Um, and we've already looked at a square number, which you can see is 9. So it tells you that 9 is a square number. And I've asked you to explain why this is. Um, I'm going to explain it. Hopefully it will make sense. But, well... First of all, I'd like you to think about what it is that makes a square a square, rather than your usual type of rectangle. Um, but a square is just a type of rectangle. But anyway, we can talk about that in the uh, first year. Um, you've got the same number of rows as you do columns. So you've got three going along and three down. And that's why it's called a square number, because when you draw the array, it looks like a square. Uh, and similarly, I've asked you to find some other ones. If I went four down and four along, well, I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So sixteen is an example of another square number. Uh, you might be able to find some more of your own after that. So you've got sixteen. Okay, then we've got the cube numbers. Okay, so we've got the cube numbers, and it says 1, 8, and 27 are the first three cube numbers. So I'm just going to show you something, a way of writing down the square numbers, and you might be able to have a think about the cube numbers. So for the square numbers, 
Well, for that first one, three along, three down gives you nine. Then for the second one, I've shown you four along and four down gives you 16. And you could continue this pattern, I'll let you do that. So, eight is a cube number and 27 is a cube number. And the only thing I'm going to do to help you with this, you can you can try and do the rest yourself, is I'm just going to tell you, or in fact, I'm not telling you anything, I'm just going to write this down. So I'm writing that down, but I don't see any cubes here. So I'm interested to know why you think it's called a cube number. Um, but anyway, that's the last task. I hope you found these videos helpful. Um, and if not, or even if you, whether you have or haven't, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on, on some of the ideas we've talked about. You've got my email address, so please, please let me know. Okay, thank you.